Welcome everyone to another Cartoon Network This Week. I'm your host, Sam, and today is St. Patrick's Day! Woo! Bringing back the jazz fingers, everyone! Oh. This is going to get real old real quickly. Can we... So as you can see, I am not wearing green. I tried it earlier. It wasn't a really good look. Instead, I agreed to one pinch from our Irish goat arm. Ow! What? One goat? Anyways, Rupert will be joining us soon for some very special St. Patrick's Day fun. But for now, I am very honored and very excited to welcome our first official guest from the magical land of California, Ian Jones Cordy, the creator of OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes. Yeah. How's it going? Good, good. Yeah, yeah. how's your flight? It's awesome. I love yeah. being here. Yeah, you yeah. like in Atlanta? Yeah, of course. And as a huge Cartoon Network fanboy, it's awesome to be yeah. here. Yeah? Yeah. I'm a huge fan of the show, and I'm extremely nervous to be talking to you. I'm not going <laughs> to lie in the presence of a series creator, guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to, like, check my hair real quick. Like, Sure, you just, okay. Can you, can you see if that looks okay to you and, like, smile? Looks all right. <laughs> I just got a selfie with the end. So last week, I got yeah. a chance to play Dynamite's Action News for the first time. Have you gotten Yes, it? yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I was told I was <laughs> the first one to play it. From what I understand, the game was developed from a game jam? Yeah, so um, before the show even started, uh, Cartoon Network Games teamed up with the Portland Indie Game Squad to create a game jam that we held in Portland. Oh. And at this game jam, we had 48 different teams of talented video game developers. We had a bunch of power cards and we gave them all each one of the heroes and told them, hey, you could make you can make a game based off this hero. Uh, one of the teams, Wake Robin Games, <laughs> made a game based off of uh, Dynamite Watkins that was super fun, that CN Games, we wanted to do something even bigger with it, so now it's become an official CN game. And that's yeah, awesome. it's been a real inspiration. And that's out now on the App Store, Google Play, and Amazon. Search Dynamite's Action News. So looking ahead, we understand there's a big half hour special coming yeah, up here in yeah, Control. Yeah. Um, can you maybe give us a little information <laughs> about that? It is premiering in April, we know yeah. that. But um, yeah, I'll just say, would be nice. I'll just say, so uh, over this whole season of OKKO, OK we've sort of started to see like a bunch of things start to come together. KO sort of dealing with this inner alter ego of his. We've also gotten to see the evil Lord Boxman sort of have more of his uh, evil plans get bigger and bigger and bigger. And those have got to combine in some way. And pretty much this is gonna be sort of the confluence of all those things. That's awesome. Yeah. Quick insert here, when Ian got back to Cartoon Network Studios in Burbank, California, he very generously sent over this animatic from next month's OKKO OK half hour special, You're in Control. It's an exclusive, obviously, and I'm super excited to share it with you. We've been making good progress. If you can handle transforming into TKO, we can figure out how to harness his energy. Are you ready, KO? <clears throat> Commencing stimuli. You're the best, K.O. <laughs> Good. Now to bring on the transformation. You're the worst, K.O. Uh, you can't do anything right. Who would need your help? You're nothing but a burden. You're useless. No! Too much! Uh, I'm sorry, K.O. I love you. You are loved and appreciated. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I agree. We must be getting close. KO! I can't believe you're trying to unleash TKO! Yeah, TKO is like your evil alter ego. You can't um, keep stuff like this a secret from your friends. I'm not trying to unleash TKO. I'm trying to control his powers. You could seriously hurt other people. Yeah! Don't you remember when TKO fought us? Every bone in my body. I... I... Enid, Rad, please! Uh, I'm sorry! We'll finish this later. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
What is that thing? Rude. We'll stomp this one. Just like all the rest! Thanks again to Ian for sending that along. So I think what we saw there is the super robot reference in action news. Anyways, we'll share more of that animatic with you at a later date, but for now, uh, let's get back to the show. So last week, we posted a Radis Rad challenge in our CN Saiyan app. I'm pretty heroic myself. Level two, if you must know. As the voice of Rad, we thought maybe you'd like to take a good look at the finalists? Yeah, lay it on me. I want to see yeah. it. I'm pretty heroic myself. Level two, if you must know. <laughs> That one's great. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, definitely has the right strat. You gotta, you gotta lean back. You kind of gotta rest on those laurels a little bit. Definitely, oh. definitely go in the right direction. You're cool guy. In yeah. The, in the store. I'm pretty rope myself. Level two, if you must know. Very creative. Yeah. I love how he's actually spilling the nachos. Cause that's true. That's, that's very true to life. That's true. That, yes. I do that every <laughs> day. Here. I'm pretty heroic myself. Level two, if you must know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> I gotta be careful because they might replace me pretty soon. So. Oh, um, but that was awesome. So now that we've seen all yeah. three finalists, uh, do you see any clear winners? Or? Mm -hmm. It's it's interesting because uh, Red. The voice of Rad is kind of like, when I was a kid, it's based on my older brother, and he used to be like, kind of like a little bit of a jock bully uh, <laughs> towards me. Rad is kind of like a state of mind, you know? And okay. I feel really good about all of those, all of those impressions. I definitely loved uh, that they all had different takes on it, but they all kind of felt like the character. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really, it would be impossible to pick a winner. Yeah. yeah I'd say they're all super good. Woo! So uh, now that we heard their impressions of Rad, maybe we could hear the original? <laughs> of course. Gotta, you know, get into it. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I'm pretty heroic myself. Level two, if you must know. I'm pretty heroic myself. Level two, if you must know. <laughs> That's awesome. Give it up for yeah. Thanks, guys. Ian, I know I've said this like a hundred times, but we were so excited to have you here today yeah. and we are so thankful that you came Thanks out Thanks for here. having me. There, he <laughs> keeps doing <laughs> They that. warned me about that. Let's check in with Rupert, who is all about St. Patrick's Day. Top of the morning to you, Sam and Ian, and happy St. Patty's Day, lads and lassies. <laughs> Earlier today, I flew over and kissed the Barney Stone for good luck. There's me with a helper. It tastes surprisingly not stony, you guys. I thought I detected something minty, but it was just old lip gloss. Let's celebrate some of our favorite green characters with this St. Patty's Day Supercut. Enjoy! Let's get a countdown! Three, two, one! You're looking a little green today. I really didn't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Make that green. <laughs> I wish I was a leprechaun. Wish granted. Oh, sick, dude! My mom! Anyways, thanks again for joining us. Tune in next week for a special edition of Cartoon Network This Week, where we take on South by Southwest. 
Also, thanks again to Ian for joining us. He's such a great guy. And please like and subscribe for more exclusive content like today's interview. Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. Could you name all the green characters in Rupert's Real? I don't think I could. And if we missed a few, comment below. Bye.